passengers never wait for trains at the New York Society of Model Engineers. In fact, we have a saying that we operate on time all the time. Located in Karlstadt, the 92-year-old society has about 5,000 square feet of operating model trains. In our society, model trains are not the little train that you put under the Christmas tree. We build scale equipment, exact scale proportions. We try to operate our trains just like the real railroads operate. Three different train sizes are displayed. The largest is the O scale. They're built to a proportion of one quarter inch equals a foot. The HO gauge trains use a metric system, but it's pretty close to one eighth of an inch equals a foot, half O, that's why it's called HO. And then we have a small layout of N gauge, which is even smaller than the HO. As the trains whiz by, it's like watching a well-orchestrated production. There's a control balcony over each of the layouts. On the O-scale trains, the trains are operated what we call a very sophisticated old-school system. It's just electric going to the rails that run the trains. The smaller trains, the HO gauge trains, are operated by a system that's called digital command control. This is a very recent development model trains, uh, last 10 years or so. Each locomotive has a little microchip in it that controls the speed of the train, controls sound effects. There are also about 20 cameras over the layouts. The cameras are to go ahead and track locations, especially areas where there could be a conflict uh, as far as that, side swipes and, or ramming another train as far as that. And it tells you the spacing you have to keep. The models are handmade by members. Many are done from scratch, like this circus train dating back to the 1940s. They even recently updated a model to transform it into President George H.W. Bush's funeral train. The members say all of the detailed scenery, which has taken countless hours to build, is a labor of love. They planted more than 50,000 miniature trees just in this area. The society also has hundreds of artifacts on display, like lights, tail signs, whistles, and bells like this one. The members believe this was once on a Lackawanna steam engine, and now visitors are invited to ring it. This is history. This is your history, along with ours, but it is still part of your life. Just imagine if there wasn't the railroads moving all that food and produce and products all over this country. They are amazing what they can do. Passengers, we should say visitors, can see the trains leave the station this weekend. In Karlstadt, I'm Lauren Wonko and Jake TV News.